just come straight into this lab. Great, can you see him right there? So you can see his little leg? I can see him in there. That was cool. Oh yeah. I might try pulling him out. Whoa. Oh! -ho! And so they're just symbiotic or they yep. just... Everyone's happy to live together? Yep. Come here. Not a very efficient uh, free living life, but he's perfect for the mantle cavity. What, is, what does he do? Does he just keep other things from eating them from the inside? Well, he's right there by the by the X current hole. So stuff that doesn't that gets um, shunted away, that's not edible, it does, does not getting filtered by the gills. I mean, what benefit does he serve the limpet? Just keeping other parasites from oh, occupying that wrong that, term. If he just I think it's commens in? he's commensal. So he's the, no benefit to the limpet, really. Not that I know of. Okay. Unlike uh, the polychaetes that are on the bat stars, supposedly they keep settling organisms off of the aboral side, although you can rarely see them on the aboral side of the of the. Uh, well, then they're doing bat a good star. job, I guess. Uh -huh. And what's the species again, Pastors? Uh, the genus, which probably has changed, Pinixa, P-I-N-N-I-X-A. The Pinixids are, are by and large commensals, commensals in clams, um, obviously this uh, gastropod snail, uh, commensals in polychaete tubes. There's one that might be in ghost shrimp burrows as well, and Eureka scalpel, the fat innkeeper worm. So pea crabs everywhere. 